People in Minneapolis getting their say today on whether to put a proposal to change the city's public safety charter on the November ballot. It's been a hot topic, an issue since the death of George Floyd, and the initial call by some city council members to defund the Minneapolis Police Department. Fox Science Karen Scullin joining us now live with more on what the people of Minneapolis had to say about this topic, Karen. Yeah, really interesting hearing, actually, because those in favor and those against putting this measure on the November ballot, well, it was all pretty much split down the middle. Now, the opinions were full of passion on whether police reform should happen within the current Minneapolis Police Department or in a whole new public safety model. Now, today, the Minneapolis Public Health and Safety Committee meeting Listen to about 75 residents share their thoughts. If voters pass this change in November, it would remove the police department as a standalone charter and instead put it under the control of city council instead of the mayor. I'm disgusted that so many police officers abandon their jobs to avoid any accountability for their crimes against black people since George Floyd's murder. And I think it's brutally obvious their abdication, abdication is actively responsible for the rise in crime. You have caused enough pain and damage to our city with your divisive, radical approach to public safety. We don't want you exerting more control over public safety. We want you to have less. We don't want you to further reduce the police. We want more police. We want to feel safe again. Now, while the opinions differed, it was clear residents have either lost faith in council or lost trust in the MPD. Some were concerned that Chief Arredondo has not been part of this conversation. Now, no decision was made today on whether to push the measure forward. The issue will come up again in the March 4th committee hearing. Again, there will be more conversation about it. We're live in Minneapolis. Karen Scullin, Fox 9.